beautiful day. Very sorry at the noise at the background. I just decided to do this video today from the outside. So how are you guys doing? I hope we all are doing fine and beautiful, especially in this period of this lockdown. So today you'll be surprised why I'm coming again. And this time around you are seeing crowds, you're seeing people already outside. So this place in Italy right now, they've lifted a bit of the ban. Okay, you can go out but the social distancing is still implemented okay you go out but you still have your mask on okay so here again please if you've not subscribed to this channel try and do and when you do please click on the bell sign button that is where you're going to get okay the notifications of the new video that we upload so today i have to talk about the series that i continue i started from um is it a day ago or two days ago i uploaded that video so talking about male kids that they should be allowed to do housework they should be allowed to be trained on how to do most jobs that we women do you understand that the society that we have right now they feel that women uh, what they are, are supposed to be doing is doing housework it's meant for them okay it's just that housework for women is just meant for them all right so in that video I expatiated and I explained that housework and whatever job that you feel that, that the notion that they feel that society feel that women are known for which is to do um, most of the housework are not meant only for women alone. so I thought that we should introduce the male we should always make them or I right, do housework train them as little kids okay so I don't want to talk much about that video I'm going to leave the link of that video either here or here I don't know where it's going to appear so today I have to continue that series you know when I was discussing this I was emphasizing mostly on the women this time around um, somebody sent me a mail and said uh, a man anyway sent me a mail and said that uh, he was talking about his own story he was telling me that uh, he likes doing this homework doing housework and whatever I explained in that video uh, he's known for that in fact the parents trained him all right to do those jobs but when he got married to the wife and as he was doing those uh, housework, the wife feel all right that uh, she can now just go and relax. She doesn't. It's, that, it's just like the a woman. She's not being lazy doing those housework. So because of that, he stopped doing those housework, and it's now causing them misunderstanding that he's still regretting that when they nearly got married, that he wouldn't have even made that attempt to start doing those housework in the first place. So here, what I'm saying here is just that please, will women that are married okay that are in their various uh, marriage please it's not like uh, the men don't like doing this job but you know like we for who we have now you understand we women sometimes you just feel so reluctant you now feel relaxed because the man is doing those jobs those housework you now go and relax even if at all he's doing those jobs please you as a woman you know it's not like i i, I emphasize that men are supposed to be helping because of that you now go and relax when this man is doing this job, it's meant for you as a woman. In fact, some women don't even know how to make their husbands do those jobs, those house calls. They don't even know how to, you know, pet their... No, there's a way you pet a man. A man, if you don't know, a man is what they are known for. That is how God created them. They have this, you know, stamina and ego inside of them. You as a woman, as a wife, what you do? You just pet that man. It doesn't take anything. You know, you know men, I'm not saying they behave or act like kids. All right, but you know, there's a way you repent a man or your husband. Those housework that you are complaining about doesn't help you do it. You will not even know when he's doing it. He will even do it even more than what you expect. If he's in the kitchen doing a uh, cooking, or if he's helping out in doing the cooking, or it's like I said before, you finish eating and he's picking those dish from the you know dining table, you just give him a peck, give him a kiss, encourage him. That will make them do more. What are our women? They feel that since the man is doing these things, they will not go and relax. They will not go and sleep. Or if the man is doing that day that you will not do it, you will now start having misunderstanding. You will now start frowning in your face. Please don't do that because it's we women that are spoiling things ourselves. Okay? What I'm saying here is just that, please, that, the, the man that sent me that mail was you know, pouring his heart, saying things that, you know, that he was really touched about the video that I made. But what about if... Um, the, the men do it like himself, he's using himself as an example. He does it and now the wife just feels that it's meant for him to be doing. Because of that, the wife just, you know, had to 
you know, relaxed completely. The man always paid the case. The man is the one dressing the case. And the man, it's not like the man is not wise. He's wise. He's doing those things. Why? Because he loves the woman. And he's helping her to do those jobs. Why? Because he feels that this is what he's supposed to do. It's not meant for that. You know, like the man, as it is, there are some men I know. They are, in fact, it's not like I know. We, we women or everybody in the society, they know those kind of men. They don't do housework. They don't try it. It's not like, you know, for instance, if they want to do it, they'll tell you that they don't know how to do it. They know how to do it. At least by the time you say you don't know how to do something, when you do it once, two, three times, you learn how to do it. But they don't try it. Their ego is just too much. So that's, that's kind of men. This is where my approach is coming from today and this is my explanation today and why I'm making this video today. If you have that kind of man, there is a way, my dear, even if I'm at all, that man has a stony heart. There is a way that you will pet that man. Give him a peck. You know, whatever you can do just to make sure. Don't tell yourself that some women will say, I beg, does he need that at all? So that means, okay, what about if you as a woman is doing it as a wife? Uh, does he pet you when you finish doing it? No. You know, just that, that is how God created it's we women. We are meant to bring babies into this world. It's just how God, don't use yourself as a woman to compare to a man. It's not like I'm saying that women, men, should, they should try to train them, maybe as, as when they grow up, and when they, maybe when they're still very little. You will train them very well from that little age to be doing this housework. Well, by the time they grow up and they start cooking for you as a woman in the house, they start helping you to do the, like I said before, they bed the kids and the rest of them. You will not go and rest and say maybe the day the man doesn't do it, there will not be a problem. Please, we women should help ourselves. We should save our marriage. We should not uh, tell ourselves after all. See, my dear, if you don't know, uh, we, yeah, so I'm talking about some women anyway. Yeah, because you know, I talked about the, the, the men uh, the other time in my, my video that I made. I'm talking about the women specifically. We, there is a lot of higher rate of divorce and it's not like the men only at the cost of that that's some women because i'm trying to do it sideways either on the side of the man and also on the side of the women there are some women they are just so stubborn that is the fact they are so stubborn those kind of stubborn women they usually marry those you know good and they you know that has men that kind of men that have you know good attitude they, can, they tend to marry that i don't know why it's like that all right and if you have that kind of man you should be encouraged so women will just tell any little to the man will just do to you. He will say, hey, please, I'm tired of this, uh, you know, I just want to get out. You want divorce, you want this, you want that. My dear, if you move out, there is no place that is the best. Everybody is just trying to put themselves together in their homes. Don't just quickly say, please, divorce is the option. You know, there are some, at least when you start as a woman, you just start your marriage, you are just a year, two years, those kind of things will be coming out from your mouth. We women, we understand. I, I know there are some that also, me, I did it when I only got married, it was just two years or so. Okay. Any little my husband talks to me, I will say, please, I'm tired. What kind of thing is this? This and that. There's a time you will come, it will be so, please, try and be so matured. All right? Don't say, please, I want to go out. Or even men, they do it too. They will say, please, I want to go out and look for a woman that will be showing me that love, that will be, you know, uh, petting me, doing those things and that and that and that. If you go out to another woman, say one, they are all the same. The one you have, put it together. If you are the man that is um, listening to me, if you are the type that say you want to give up on your marriage, look on the other side. What I mean by there are some things that makes that woman that you are married no, no good, as in there are some beautiful character, some things that made you get married, if that is the only one you can hold on and be praying. Because sometimes for me, I feel the society where we live these days is sometimes it's spiritual. You use prayer to follow up and when you have done that, sometimes it's also good to so give some space. Well, some space doesn't mean that you have to separate completely. All right? Some space means that at least you should think, reflect on each other and what you have to. Sometimes it's even good to take yourself out. I know we that lives here in Europe. We don't have relations. Sometimes we don't even have friends or good friends, okay, that you know you will leave kids for so that you and the man or the husband and the wife can go out and have fun and have their, you know, secret life without any kids interfering. If you don't have that kind of, in your home, even at night, at night when the kids have gone to bed, you just put up a, 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 a dining, you know, whatever, a table, uh, cover it with um, a table mat and put, uh, what's it called, wine, and do that even while you can do it at home. Okay, now if you feel that those home uh, dinner nights 
Ah, uh, it's not really fun. Okay, now look at the what the, what, the, what are we experiencing right now? Is it not the uh, this virus issue and everybody were giving lockdown, all right, not to go out? And a lot of us, I, I do see some video that people upload on you on YouTube and Facebook where they talk about their dinner, their dinner night. They are out and they, they did everything indoor. So why do you not feel that it's not possible? You do it if the kids have gone to bed, you pull out the table, cover it, put a wine, have fun for yourselves. All right? So that is just what I want to leave for us today. If you are the kind of woman that you feel, because why I made this video today is just about the man that sent me a mail talking about it's not like he doesn't like doing those jobs for the wife. He grew up, he had that kind of upbringing to be doing those jobs. All right, but the woman is not even happy at the day, he doesn't do it. It's a, mis it's a problem, it's an issue, it's a misunderstanding that will just be going on in the house. So, please, we should try as a woman when your husbands are doing those things, they are home, as in, in the kitchen, and doing the laundry, baiting the kids. They are helping you, it's not like it's meant for them to do. There's a way, so women don't even know how to pay their husband. If you don't know, learn it, please, my dear, learn it. So, that is just what I have for us today. We are going to see you on the next one. Please stay blessed. And I love you all guys. Bye.